Well, I came out to the uh, beetle barn today. Um, need to put some uh, headlights in old Maynard here. He's kind of winking at everybody lately. He's only got one headlight that's working. And uh, anyway, I got sidetracked, had visitors and this and that. Typical. Um, haven't really done a walk around to this car. Not much to see. Um, look in the back there. Uh, you can see I got some uh, speaker and a lot of crap. Um, I pretty much live in this car during the week in the commute. And so it tends to get kind of trashed out. Got my old man cushion there on the, ba on the back of the front seat. But I've got a lot of miles in this car. Probably, I've probably put a couple hundred thousand on it or more over the years. And uh, I really like it. I run uh, larger rear uh, wheels on it than belong. Got wider fenders. They're three inches widened. Um, I think they're eight and a half inch by 14 rims. Old school Firestones on it. Firestone Firehawks and it runs pretty good and you can see where the uh, it's a 64 Beetle and you can see where I got my nickname driving old Maynard here it was named by the uh, original owners kids and uh, the name got passed down with him so he's still old Maynard and uh, you can see he's been to a few shows over the years. Can't get that sticker anymore. Anyway, that's old Maynard. Um, been rear-ended a couple times. Uh, girlfriend I had ran it into a bread truck once. I got T-boned at an intersection once and uh, it's had some abuse but still runs good drives good anyway so I got sidetracked today I had some visitors um, Jason the one guy with the single cab came over and uh, he just got a, a Volkswagen thing and it came with these wheels these are old uh, old school steel Jackman wheels and I had to have them so uh, I've got a couple of uh, things out front there that are parts and uh, he needed some thing parts for the new thing he got so decided we'd do some uh, wheeling and dealing and some trading and then I had another friend show up um, Danny and his dad and they needed some Super Beetle stuff which I don't really need it tends to get uh, torn off of Super Beetles and stashed around just for trading stock anyway and uh, but I had to have those Jackman wheels here I am out in the back barn this is a uh, place where I store a lot of parts you can see the nose off of a single cab truck there got uh, if I can get in here I'll see if it lightens up a bit got couple camper tops there um, but anyway the Jackmans I'm gonna put right there on that fiberglass buggy um, it's another one of my many projects and now I'm a little more amped on it it's just sitting on a pan there um, but it's an old-school fiberglass buggy it is not a Manx I wish it was but it's not but it is definitely a vintage kit so I want to put that together and those Jackmans are going to go on there. Anyway, look around the back barn here. We got a pile of fenders over there. A pile of bumpers over there. Got some lumber and stuff in the back corner. And then uh, a few more cars in here. As you can see, we have cars up on the shelf. Car bodies actually. Over in the far corner, we got a 61 European bug next to it is a 65 that I use for sheet metal parts a uh, black one up there is a smashed smashed 54 um, and I have a front clip that someday I want to put on it 
The one next to that is uh, 55 with semaphores and uh, 57 kind of orange guy there and behind that is a 65 and 66 and behind this one is a 67 uh, crankback sunroof and then we got back there a green 66 old 64 gi away in the corner there and uh, we got my uh, old rambler right here um, might do a cold start on that one day um, sometime I'll throw that on the road again maybe it's a nice car uh, it's a 65 rambler classic two-door interior is pristine and it has one tiny dent on the outside just the paint's got leprosy real bad anyway pile of parts We've got another pan there we got two or three pans leaning up over here and uh, miscellaneous engine carcasses 36 horse we got a few 36's around here still um, front beams uh, bumpers more front beams a lot of bus stuff out here some more engines lined up and uh, miscellaneous lawn mowers anyway so yeah I got those uh, wheels there and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw those on this project one day I guess the first step would be to clean those wheels up and paint them probably paint them white same as they uh, came way back when anyway I had to throw something up this weekend I haven't done much um, gonna go after that the headlights on old Maynard there anyway thanks for watching